9.2 is about biological and social hazards. Infectious diseases are, are going to be key here. Let me switch back real quick. Check out this, this statistic. Three-fourths of infectious disease deaths are caused by five types of diseases. Okay, so that means 75% of the deaths uh, that are caused by something infectious can be passed from one person to another, caused by five types of diseases. Respiratory infections, so things like tuberculosis, AIDS, diarrheal diseases, tuberculosis, and malaria. So infectious diseases are caused by pathogens. Uh, you should know that by now. Spread by animal and human contact through contaminated food and water. You might have heard of the Black Plague that was uh, spread through contaminated water because of rats. Cause almost half of all deaths in developing nations. Uh, doing the vampire cough when you uh, when you cough and stay at home from school when you're sick and washing your hands. Obviously, those all help uh, prevent infectious diseases. An emerging disease is going to be an, a disease that just popped up for the first time. Last year, we heard a lot about Zika. It, it was a, this new disease that was uh, causing all kinds of really negative things in, in South America and Central America. We don't have any resistance to it. We don't have any vaccines to it because we've never seen it before. Uh, we're seeing more and more of these emerging diseases because we move around the planet more. Before we had airplanes, people in North America mostly stayed in North America. Some people traveled by boat across the ocean, but it was, it was pretty rare. Now that we can fly across the world, we come in contact with more things. We also have uh, more and more antibiotic resistance from overprescription of overprescribing of drugs, I should say. And then the climate is changing, uh, which allows things like mosquitoes to travel into ecosystems that they previously couldn't live in. It used to be too cold for a mosquito to move uh, up into northern Michigan and Canada, for example. Now West Nile virus spreads into those areas because uh, the host organism, the mosquito, can travel further. So how do we respond to emerging diseases? Honestly, guys, I was thrilled by the number of people that got these answers right on the 9.2 quiz. So that, that bodes well. Uh, the World Health Organization monitors worldwide emerging diseases. The CDC is how we here in the United States respond to emerging diseases. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the CDC is our American version. The World Health Organization kind of takes care of, of global things. Social hazards are going to be things like smoking, uh, being exposed to secondhand smoke kind of goes along with that, uh, living near an old toxic waste site, living near a, a dump or a landfill or something like that, uh, working with harmful chemicals, uh, eating a lot of fast food, things like that. Those are all social hazards. Having lots of unprotected sex, again, are social hazards. So again, this section is just asking you to think about all of these biological and social things that could impact you. Now, an emerging disease like, uh, let's say, uh, diphtheria that's really common in Europe, is that's not something we need to worry about here. MRSA is a big deal here. Somebody in Asia doesn't necessarily need to worry about it. Ebola is really big in Africa. We don't have to worry so much about it here. So, again, we're evaluating our risk. Uh, when I take people to Belize here over spring break, we're going down in this area. We need to worry a little bit about dang fever. We don't need to worry about E. coli or H1N1 or cholera necessarily. So again, it's about evaluating risk. And then particularly with the social hazards, that, that, that becomes really tricky. Some are easy to avoid, some aren't. It's easy to, to say, I'm just not going to eat fast food anymore. It's harder to be able to afford to move away from a, a factory that pollutes or uh, something along those lines. Again, there is definitely overlap in social hazards. Some of them are going to be biological. Some of them are going to be chemical. Uh, just, just be aware of what these social hazards are.